If you haven't done so yet, make sure you pause the video and try to answer this question on your own before listening on. Now, it turns out that in order to calculate the net electric potential at the center of this rectangle, we can actually find that there's a bit of a shortcut here. And to understand that shortcut, we want to focus our attention on the four particles that are located at the corner of the rectangle. Now we'll notice that all four particles are the same distance from their respective positions to the center of the rectangle. In other words, the distance from this corner to the center and from this corner to the center and so on is the same. And that's just due to the symmetry of a rectangle. Now we will also notice that if we sum those four charges, in other words, if we add them together, we get a total charge of zero coulombs. Now looking at the equation for electric potential produced by point charges, if the distance from each charge to the center of the rectangle is the same, as we've already noted, and the total charge of those charges is zero, that means that the total electric potential produced by those four charges is also going to be zero. So in essence, we can neglect or ignore the contribution to the electric potential of those four charges and focus our attention on the charges marked plus four Q2. Now turning to those charges, we can see that the distance from each of those charges to the center of that rectangle would be A divided by two. And so we can go ahead and set up the expression for the total electric potential, or sigma V, if we want to call it that. And that would be equal to K times the first charge divided by the distance to the center of the rectangle, which we said was A divided by 2. And then we can add that basically to the same expression because it's the same charge and the same distance. Notice, too, that we're not worrying about directions in this problem like we would if it was an electric field question. Electric potential are scalar quantities, and so we do not need to worry about, so to speak, their direction. So we can simply algebraically add the two quantities together. And so a little algebra will bring those twos to the numerator. We can simplify the numerators by multiplying the two and the four in both cases. And since these fractions have a common denominator, we can add them together to make 16k q2, all divided by a. We know k is a constant, 8.99 times 10 to the 9th. q2 was given to us in picocoulombs, so we'll have to multiply that by 10 to the minus 12 in order to convert it into coulombs. And then a was given to us in centimeters, so let's just move that decimal over two places to get 0.39 meters. So we'll go ahead and plug in those known values. And when we simplify that, we'll come over here, we get roughly 2.21 volts. So this should be the correct answer to the question. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, please click the thumbs up and subscribe. Remember that you can send in your own question to the email address on the screen, and I'll do my best to post the solution to it on YouTube.